We are on chapter three. I um you know I feel I feel thirty three percent guilty of being such a fucking idiot while reading this. I feel thirty three percent confused for being such an idiot while reading this. And I feel 33% sexually repressed just because I'm such an idiot in the, the real world. <laughs> I, um... I don't know if I'm having the right feelings about our female lead. I feel like maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm too sexually immature to get it. Maybe I just died and I'm not getting it. I mean, there's, there's a page, um, let's see if I can show you. You see Makima eating the corn dog. Like, uh, that's called symbolism. <laughs> Fujimoto didn't have to do that. That was a choice to have Akima eat a corn dog in front of us. Um, there's the falling on her chest, getting a hug. I mean, there's so it, we're we're taking off your clothes and giving it to Dingy. I feel all this something in the air and I just don't quite know and then there's the dog stuff which is incredibly overt um Dingy clearly likes her I I have no idea what she's thinking I am thinking she Probably likes him for a very different reason. Um, there was there was a, a, a kind of a mini story, Dingy's first quest, where we go and we kill the, our first demon. I'm not exactly sure what I was supposed to take away from that. It seemed the the. Let's just run away and live with your demon thing. Seemed kind of out of nowhere to me, but maybe it would it'll make more sense later. Um, but yeah, the whole that whole thing seemed like it was contrived to tell me something. But again, I'm too fucking dense to kind of realize what it was. I just see Dingy's first fight and, uh, you know, doing Maki, Makima's bidding, her fetching. Um, Still a little confused about how the devils are in, in the world. Like, um, the little girl knows about the devils. The dad comes running up to the Udon suit guy. Hey, you my uh, devil hit me. So I guess there's devils all around all the time. Um, I'm just kind of swallowing that, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I just don't know what to think about mocking. I, I, uh, her dialogue is so vague. <laughs> Everybody's dialogue is very vague. I have to do a lot of interpretation on what people are thinking by the way they are looking. If they're smiling, not frowning. I'm not 
wasn't so sure I'm doing that, but... But, anyway, I'm doing my best. Okay. Chapter 3. Arrival in Tokyo. Lindsay's... Low, low on blood. <laughs> Daydreaming? Ah, uh, I think that's what's going on here. What type of guys do you like? Some, someone like this boy named Ninji. See, that doesn't necessarily mean you, Ninji. I don't know. I This hurts my heart. Guys. It hurts my heart. I, I give you the reaction I have. I hope there's somebody out there who... with me. This, this hurts. This isn't, this isn't a, maybe, maybe I'm old, maybe I'm jaded, maybe I'm, 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 I'm cold, I'm, I'm cut off. I can't remember the last time I remember daydreaming about a girl, especially one that barely even liked me or probably didn't. I, I, I just don't know. Me too. I like you too, Miss Fahima. He turns around. He's a lovely man. He's daydreaming. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Dinzy, over here. This is a cool shot. The biggest building in the in the town. This is where all the important people the Devil Hunter Tokyo HQ. It's where you'll be working now. It's very big. So is Makima like... I guess he's an employee at the Devil Hunter Tokyo HQ. Again, Benji still, chapter 3, still cannot find the shirt. Um, I think they, I think we do want to draw it that way. And then we have a big, wide Makima taking up the whole page. Get a good look. Including civ civilians. There are more than a thousand devil hunters in Tokyo. Oh my god. We public safety devil hunters get a lot of paid days off and best benefit packages. Because <laughs> it's so dangerous, is that what you're saying? Or are you saying it's a really good job? If Makima likes me, then as we were, he's not even listening. <laughs> not even listening. If Makima likes me, then as we work together, won't we end up becoming like, you know, and if we were in like that kind of relationship, couldn't we do like that kind of stuff too? I want to do it. I want to do that stuff so bad. <laughs> Not being busy at all. Maybe he's got the eye on the prize. NG, yes. We typically work in uniforms. Put this on. Once you are changed, I'll introduce you to one of your colleagues. Okay. There's a door. I guess we got changed and we went through the door. And this must be our colleague, Mr. Sword on his back. He's got a, we got we got a shirt. Hey, we got a shirt and a tie! We got a shirt and a tie on. This guy looks cool, I guess. He's got a funny looking ponytail. This is Aki Hayao Hayakawa. He's three years your senior here. Oh, okay, you've been working three years here, huh? From today, tag along with him. 
Oh, we're partners. This is a cop drama. I'll be the funny guy, you be the straight guy. Go around killing the, killing the devils. I'm working with you. I'm not working with you, Miss Makima? Of course not. You and Miss Makima are in completely different leagues. We're going on patrol. Grabs him by the collar, pulls him away. No, Miss Makima! She looks on like she likes it. She likes it. If you perform well, we'll be able to work together. So keep your chin up, okay? This is called manipulation, Lindsay. But maybe you're maybe you're the strong one. You're following along, you're walking the path, you're gonna get what you want. This is what do you have to give in return? Beautiful shot of the city. Incredibly detailed shot of the city. Very, very pretty. We got a crowded bunch of people all walking around. Denji and our boys walking together. What's his name? Aki. Hayakawa. Does Makima have a boyfriend? Dead straight ahead, not into this. Hey, tell me. Dead straight ahead, nothing. Absolutely nothing. No reaction, nothing. Hey! Hey, come here. was there. And there's... Oh, it's a cigarette. Then he lights the cigarette. You should quit. If you, have if you show up tomorrow, I'll give you another thrashing. This book is full of intimidation. You hear this? Sh you see this shit every chapter. Chapter 1, the Yakis is going to kill him. Chapter 2, Makima is going to kill him. Chapter 3, uh, Aki is going to fucking beat the shit out of him every day if he shows up. What are you trying to tell me, Kishimoto? Don't be a coward. Stand up and fight. Or lay down and roll over. Roll over. I, I cannot, I do not know what this manga is about. We're going to keep reading. What's your problem? Maybe my kindness isn't getting through to you. Kindness. What were you gonna do to me? The people who go into this job for shallow reasons end up dead, kid. Oh, you're protecting me from myself because I'm too into this girl. Is that what you're trying to say? Among my peers, the ones who become devil hunters just for the money get killed by devils, all of them. The only ones still alive are those who have strong convictions. 
you know, think uh, chasing money is a conviction? What about chasing a girl? Conviction? We're getting lectured by fucking dad over here. He thinks he's got something to tell us. Let me guess. You became a devil hunter because you got an eye on Makima. Ding, ding. Then I was right to beat you up. Clicks the cigarette on it. <laughs> spits on the cigarette. Throws the cigarette on it and then spits on it. I'll do you a favor and tell Makima you got scared of a devil and ran away. Go slide another cigarette. This guy's a nice guy. But I'm sure he has a really important backstory that explains his behavior. I just don't know what it is. Okay, fuck you. Yeah, we're not going to take that. <laughs> he lifts his leg up and <laughs> shoves his knee on his balls. <laughs> Look at that face. That's a really good face. You should not have done. Wop. Fell to the ground. Not taking that shit. You sure are a nice guy. When I fight guys, I only aim for the crotch. I mean, that's pretty funny. Whew. Today I ate udon for the first time and a hot dog too. Okay. It's the first time I got treated like a person. The first time I got treated to a meal. To me, this is like living a dream. Maybe I became a hunt de devil hunter for a shallow reason, but I'm willing to die to keep living like this. Well, I, that's... Very admirable. It's shallow to you. <laughs> it's actually the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> Kicking in the dark thing is pretty funny. And she looks down at him. Actually, I take that back. My life isn't my own. Rocky gets up. Bam! Okay, boys. Shows him right in the stomach. Punches him in the face. And then, of course, uh, Dingy's classic retaliation. Right in the dick. Cut his dukes up. A thug like you has no place liking Makima. Oh, wow. Wow. Huh? What gives? You just want it for yourself? You seriously only aim for the balls. God. That's right, you piece of shit. Crap. <laughs> Boys are back from our first shift. Mocking was very surprised. A testicle devil attacked his balls. That's a lie. He made that up. <laughs> hmm. So what do you think? Can you two get along? Not a chance. This guy is scum.
a testicle devil attacked his balls. I'm glad you guys are hitting it off. That's not what they said. I'm putting Denji in your squad, Ayakawa. This thug really squad? But we already have so many troublemakers as it is. If we had any more weirdos, I told you when we created the squad, didn't I? That I'd try operating it with unique experimental setup. Okay. So Mahima is, you know, clearly more of a boss than I realized in page, uh, chapter one and two. She runs this joint. I tell you who your fucking partner is. I create the squads. I tell you I, I created a unique experimental squad and operating it. Okay, so she's she's big boss around here. Dingy's yawning. Just who is this guy? Dingy here is human, but he can turn into a devil. How do you like that? Badass, right? Are you serious? I've only heard flimsy rumors about cases like that. Dingy is special. So it's been decided that we'll treat him as a special case. What do you think of Dingy's live, let, live attitude? He's chasing corporate uh, 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 legs, we'll say. He's chasing corporate legs. He doesn't give a fuck about this. <laughs> Anything. Hayakawa's a little more serious. And Makima is hard to read. Her face is drawn blank a lot, <laughs> or just like resting, you know, you know? I don't know. I don't know what to think about Makima. I don't know what to think about really any of the characters. I guess I'm starting to get a little bit of uh, Dingy. He's, he's just pathetic and um, I don't know I, I I don't know what to say about his fight against Hayakawa it seemed well here's the slide Maybe I became a devil hunter for shallow reasons, but I'm willing to die to keep living this way. Now that I understand. To me, this place is like living a dream. I got treated to a meal and treated like a person. I don't know what your fucking problem is with my motives. <laughs> but I'm all in, dog. I think I understand that. Denji ever quits or disobeys order, he'll be put down as a devil. <laughs> Denji's like, oh shit. Hey, Kawa looks over like, are you serious? That, like, if that's a very serious thing. Wait, what does that even mean? It means we'll be working together until death do us part.
that is uh, flirtatious. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to. Another beautiful shot of the city. We've been part of the city. Walking through the crowd again. Turns out you're gonna live with me, so we can keep an eye on you. FYI, they told me I can kill you if you run away. They're walking. They're walking. Suddenly, Jesus is losing pace here. Hey, is Makima a bad person? Oh, here we fucking go. A bad person, huh? So then give up on her. I like that girl. If you're a devil, just be grateful we're letting you live. We're devil hunters, remember? Then is she a good person? Of course she's a good person. I owe her my life. And she kind of thinks about it, remembers the hug. Is it the third time they've shown that hug in the chapter or the second? I've been rereading them, so I've seen that hug a few times. He thinks about it a lot. That was his dream, I guess. I owe her my life. A good person. A bad person. If you think she's a bad person, you should give up on her. She'll kill you if you step over the lines. That's pretty bad. You, know, I, you mean she's a good cop? Is she a good cop? Is she doing at her job? Is she a good person? What does that even mean? Is she religious? <laughs> Is she has an ethical code? A good person? And of course she's a good person. I owe her my life. Look at Dingy's face and, and Makina's eyes. But I don't know what that means. I want to hug her again. Say what? It was funny. The problem, the, my, the funniest. Like I'm, I'm laughing a lot. I don't know if I'm the ball. It's pretty funny. Um, but I just never know what the fuck they're talking. It it feels I'm I'm not lost as in like, uh, I don't know what's happening, 
but I'm lost in like, I don't know where we're going. I guess we're gonna be partners with this guy and we're gonna run around and kill devils. Mark him as our leader. It just, there's so much here that has nothing to do with that. I mean, it came up, it came up a few times in that last chapter with this. She's standing behind the window as if, uh, you know, she, it puts her in the boss position while these guys are standing by the door, coming in, coming out. Um, I guess the... Two roommates who don't get along I think it's gonna be pretty funny. <laughs> one of us is a clean freak, one of us is a he's a dingy. He's dirty. Will Dingy ever get his coat back? I want to hug her again. Say what? 